Fort Worth Congresswoman Granger leads a group of seven House Republicans tasked with finding solutions. The group gives its first update later this morning, and Congresswoman Granger joins us live by phone now from Washington to talk about it. Good morning, Representative Granger. Good morning. First, let's talk about what you did over the weekend. You're back in Washington after a whirlwind trip to Guatemala and Honduras over the last three days. What did you see, and how did it shape your view of this crisis? We had extraordinary access to the president and the first lady. We spent an hour and a half with the president of Guatemala and the first lady. And then Honduras, where the most children are coming from, we had two hours with the president, his entire cabinet, and the first lady. And what we learned is they want their children back. They want to cooperate with us. Uh, and they want some help in building the capacity to be ready to take these children back and have uh, a process where they don't want to leave again. And that's what we worked with them on. Mm -hmm. So in Central America over the weekend, three weeks ago, you were on the Texas border watching the situation there. Based on both of these visits, what will your, your group, the Working House Group, recommend to colleagues today? Well, the first thing we need to do is change the law. We have a law that treats those who are coming from Mexico or Canada one way and everyone else another way. And so from Mexico or Canada, we can return them immediately. The process coming from the countries that I was visiting is a very slow process, averaging about a year and a half, and in some cases as long as five years uh, to deport them back to their countries. And we need a very swift but fair process, uh, but certainly working with those countries to determine if the children are coming there because – their lives are threatened because they have been running uh, away, because they have been treated or in some way are in danger. They'll have their hearing. Uh, but the others who are coming because they believe the lies of the coyotes who are bringing them to the United States, who said, if you just cross this border, they'll let you stay and they'll give you all these benefits and educate you. Uh, they have to be returned immediately, and we have to send a a very clear message and a clear message from the President of the United States All right. that if they send you here, we'll send you back. Okay. Congresswoman Kay Granger from Fort Worth on the phone talking to us about the border crisis, just one of several North Texans working on this issue. Congresswoman, thank